New nationwide assessment from the EPA gives a snapshot of lead-based water lines across the country, and Texas is in the top five when it comes to the highest proportion of lead-based service lines. This is a topic of Aaron Douglas' story in the Texas Tribune. Aaron is joining us now. So, Aaron, this assessment really determines the financial needs of the nation's drinking water assessment and infrastructure over the next 20 years. What did you find out about the problems in Texas, and do we know how much this would cost? Yeah, for sure. So this is a really important assessment because it's the best data we've ever had on the scope of the problem for lead-based infrastructure and lead-based water pipes. And so they found that in the USA, more than 9 million water pipelines are estimated to be lead-based, and in Texas, the estimate is around 647,000, and that's about 7% of our water infrastructure uh, that they estimate to be lead-based. And so in Texas, that could cost a lot to fix. That combined with other drinking water infrastructure needs, the EPA estimates it could cost us more than $60 billion to fix our drinking water infrastructure in Texas. Wow, okay, we'll get to solutions later. But uh, first, how will this assessment really inform policy and funding moving forward to help our infrastructure? Yeah, for sure. So Texas implements national standards to reduce lead in public water systems. There is a lead in school and child care facility testing program that the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality maintains data on. The public can access that data. That's something that, you know, if you're concerned as a, as a person who lives in Texas and you have, you know, children who are, you know, disproportionately and, and very affected by lead in drinking water, um, that's something that you can look at for your own school and for your own a water utility. And then additionally, the Biden administration has a goal to replace all lead-based water lines in the next decade. However, as I mentioned, it could cost a lot of money to do that. It's a quite ambitious goal. Okay. And we know that lead in drinking water is very dangerous. You mentioned children. We know with children, it can damage the central nervous system. It can cause some learning disabilities. What's being done now to improve the pipes? And should Texans be concerned about this? Yeah, so I mean, unfortunately, Texans should be concerned about lead in drinking water. I think it's something that people should become aware about, especially if you have young children. You know, scientists agree there's no known safe concentration of lead in water for children. As you mentioned, it can cause learning disabilities. However, there are things being done about this on the federal and like state level. The EPA also announced in this in this announcement uh, that they would allocate $414 million to Texas for drinking water infrastructure improvements. And then the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality told me that if you are personally concerned about lead exposure in your water, you should run water to flush out all the lead until it's very cold. Lead, also, lead often cannot be in hot water as easily um, as it can be in uh, cold water. So, so if you wait until it gets cold, it's it's better. Uh, and then if you can also look for alternative uh, treatments for your water, just make sure that the filter that you purchase is approved to reduce lead and you can also get your child's blood tested. But again, I really recommend that folks, you know, check with their water utility, check with their child's school and, and see what information they can get that way. Okay, some good advice there. Last question. You mentioned that allocation, that multi-million dollar allocation. When will Texas see that money? Yeah, so that should be coming in the next couple of years, and then I think it will go through the Texas Water Development Board, and they have many programs to improve water infrastructure, and so we should see that program being expanded. Okay, Aaron Douglas from the Texas Tribune, as always, thank you so much.